Oh, no, I'm not asking you. <laughs> it's okay. I can press buttons. You are not my assistant. Hey, guys. How are you? Hello. How are you? Good. Good, good. So, so you've got the logic. <laughs> yeah, there's some tire marks on her. She's yeah. been run over a few times. <laughs> well, season eight, you will find out nothing about her, Lydia, at all. She's at this point stuck in the Hale house and uh, with that wolf's thing, looking at dirt, wondering if it's below it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, uh, it's uh, 209 for the episode. You'll find out, you'll get three. I get, you'll, you'll get a lot more answers on this. Um, and you know, how much she's being controlled by the lack thereof, and how much is voluntary on her part. Lydia's been through so much this season, you know, going through, going through things. How much, I mean, it pains me to see her go through so much hell, but um, her character seems to be so much more vulnerable this season. Are there going to be any major, at least for her personality, like big turning points as far as um, opening up more? Like, in yeah, yeah, I think that she, um, you know, had that very Tracy like aspect yeah. first season, which mm -hmm. is very intentional. Yeah. Uh, to sort of just throw up, toss up the archetype of the, the, the mean girl a little bit. But um, the second season, you know, as she's having this mental breakdown, it's also a breakout of who she is. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, when anyone's vulnerable, you see who they are. I love the scene with uh, Jackson and her because it's a very normal high school girl scene where mm -hmm. this guy treats you horribly, yet you still are kind of mm -hmm. I absolutely detest that girls realistically do do that, but they do, and I do. And, and so I, um, I liked that Jeff let us balance the, the supernatural with the super very high school drama. And, uh, and so there's moments like that where I think you see Lydia's true character. When no one else is looking, you see how much she truly does love Jackson. And uh, it's almost like they put a facade on for themselves to each other. And, uh, and that was one of the first times you saw like, what she truly thought without getting to sort of control of anybody else. How uh, worried do you try to be about Lydia at this point? <laughs> it is a toss-up. I mean, you really don't know her intentions. I mean, she might really like the idea of being able to control everybody and live forever, you know, with their hail. So, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. I think a lot of it plays out in season two, but then even more in season three. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the buns are definitely being drawn, and, and Lydia has, like, one side, you know, one foot on each side. You guys just got a super-sized season three. 24 episodes. What have they like? Have they told you much about? I mean, you just mentioned that stuff is going to happen in season three. How much have they told you about season three? We find out like before we shoot each episode what's going to happen. <laughs> they don't. They don't say much as far as like you know the overall arc. Um, so it's it's definitely a fly by the seat of your pants kind of thing, um, which is which is fun. I mean, everybody has their own style of working, and and, and yeah, ours is like we just get to find out what we get to find out, like. <laughs> so I mean, you kind of have an idea of probably where it's going, and uh, and we get like little tidbits here and there. Yeah, I think um, you know as far as how she ties into supernatural, why didn't she either die or turn from the light? I think is the most important question. That portion of the problem is just In the long run, do you see Lydia getting together with Styles or with Jackson? I'm so dumb. I think Monday, Wednesday, Friday, she'll be with one, and we'll get, okay. you know. <laughs> um, Lydia probably would coordinate, like, a gold star first grade chart like that. Um, but I would really like, it's the witty banter, would be really fun with Dylan as an actor. I think Styles and Lydia would give each other a run for their money, but I think at the end of the day, she truly loves Jackson, so that's really hot. You know, which one do you choose? Well, I mean, I like Styles, but... I know, everyone, I've gotten, I've gotten all the hybrids, the Jidia and the, like, <laughs> Lyles or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I, I For me, it's it's a toss-up. I think that Jackson's probably the long run because that's what she truly loves. I think in the short run, what I think, mean, Styles is fun. I love Styles. Yeah. You saw Lydia and Al do kind of a nice friendship season. Are you using that development to maybe become better friends with them? Depends, I think, where Lydia lies <clears throat> and how much she's going to choose to tell people where she lies. So she might keep up like a frenemy kind of thing 
Um, it might be a friendship either way. It's just because it's a real friendship or not. But yes, that's that's Jeff's territory at that point. But I don't know. That's if I had to guess. I think that's Lydia. Yeah, it's a personal you do. Keep recording cards pretty close. Yeah. Do you think there are any upper limits to Lydia's intelligence? I mean, we just found out recently, like, she knows our arcade glass, as everyone does. Yes, but I mean, <laughs> right. whatever, whenever anyone needs to know something about she seems to be there for them. Is there, do you think there could be upper limits? You know, that's, that's really, I saw the movie Limitless recently with uh, Bradley Cooper, and I love that, <laughs> that idea. So, I mean, I would be interested to see what would happen if she took, you know, takes on some sort of uh, supernatural element, how that would affect her intelligence. I, 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 um, I guess it's as good as yours. I, uh, I would like to see I personally think it would. I think she might learn to be more quickly or, you know, it's too bad, uh, you know, Derek didn't bite her. Oh, I was going to ask about, I, I really like the way Lydia and Allison's friendship has been like evolving because, you know, she has a secret side. Without giving too much away or whatever you're allowed to say, what can we expect as far as their relationship this season? Now, this that, season, now that Lydia has a huge... It's really just going to depend where she ends up. I mean, when Allison knows, I guess. Yeah. You know, it depends how much people find out about what Lydia's been going through. And if Allison's going to judge her for that or not. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. 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 Thank you.